And I took, you know, I took, I said, but when I said yes, then I get, I get this call from Chuck Pierce. You've ever heard? He's a prophet in Texas. Most of you probably have never heard of this guy. <clears throat> and he's talking about July. Somebody, somebody had sent me a portion of a message where he said July is very important for Washington, D.C. this year. He's just spontaneously pick, picking this up. And he starts, uh, you know, just going into that sort of thinking, trying to tune in while he's talking. And he said, um, pray for Washington, D.C. Stay focused. This July is very important. And he said, if we can, if, if we can break through there this month, we can take back the city. That's what he said. And I remember a word I gave at Peter and Tricia, and I think uh, the team has led an intercession over that world about how God would come through, just like he's doing right now, and Amanda would end up in Charleston to really set a new course in this nation. And yet, last night he was saying the timing of D.C. is very key, and everything that goes on there between now and July. Now, it's very, very key. And I don't travel. I don't say as much, but I'm saying that here. Between now and the end of July, D.C. is key. And it can be turned the way the Lord wants it to be turned. Pray for Washington, D.C. Stay focused. This July is very important. And he said, if we can, if, if we can break through there this month, we can take back the city. That's what he said. <laughs> so... Unbeen not knowing about the other, neither knew knowing about the other. My brother had a dream, and uh, in the dream, he had gone to Washington D.C. on July fourth, and and in the dream, had a, an angel came to him, and I may talk about that in a minute. But so I thought, okay, same weekend, you talk to two different leaders about. Washington DC in July. So I contacted Chuck and said, you have any, in anything I need to know or, or, or hear from you about that? He said, I'll pray. He called me the next day and said, go to DC. <laughs> so what, what I haven't told you is I'm already scheduled to be in Omaha Sunday. So then this came along, and then D.C. came along. But we're in that one of those seasons. We just are in one of the seasons. And I'm like Gideon's army, weary, but pursuing. I rest when I can, try to be careful, and ask God for grace. And he, if he sends you, he take care of you and give you strength and energy to do it. But Chuck, I'm going to actually read to you what he sent me. He says, as I prayed about your question regarding D.C., there have been so many dark portals opened there. And he gets a little bit specific, which I'm not going to. But he says, I was reading a passage of scripture this morning. The Lord began to, to talk to me about these portals. And he said, you need to go to D.C. 
And like some of you have been there many times, I don't live there. Sometimes I think I may as well have. But like these guys. But he said, I see you standing in the middle of the mall. And I see a wind blowing. And I see you making a decree that the structure ruling the evil portal feeding into the federal government of our nation is going to go into such chaos that it will produce a wave of freedom across America. <laughs> let me just read one more time. Since you don't have it in print in front of you, let me say it again. I see a wind blowing. That you're staying in the middle of the mall and you're making a decree. Anytime I'm there making a decree, anytime that I'm there on assignment, anytime I'm there on assignment, I know that I am, I am the point, I, I am the fruit of the past season of intercession and decrees that the ecclesia has been released. So I'm not, I'm not there doing something by myself. I never go by myself, but rarely ever, but, but I'm always there. I know as a part of an army that has done, that has done some things at the leading of Holy spirit. And now he's saying now another decree, which will take this thing to another level. So basically it's us. That's what I'm saying. So you're making a, a decree that the structure ruling the evil portal feeding into the federal government of our nation is going to go into such chaos. It's already started to happen, I think. I've never seen a government as chaotic as this one. Such chaos that it will produce a wave of freedom. That's an interesting combination, isn't it? A wave of freedom across America. So we did it. And I couldn't help but want, but think about the fact that I hear the Lord without me planning it and not even knowing until a few days ago I'm going to do this, sends me back to D.C. and then farther back to the root here in this place. Which I walk in this place, I just almost get speechless. I'm thinking to myself, I wish somebody else was speaking tonight. I mean, the history here, it's like the walls talk to me when I'm in this place. It's, I, I just, I just look at some of these patriarchs and founders and pictures and I just come and just kind of go, you know, these were great. Some of them were just incredibly great, great men and women. That God used. So it's humbling to do this. But we had a, an amazing prayer time there at the White House and the mall. And I tell you, when we stepped out of the uh, taxi going from the White House to the mall, a wind came that was so hard. There was a sign there in front of one of the buildings, right next one of the on the on the mall, one of the historic the what, the what do you call them the museum buildings. You know what I'm talking about. Help me, somebody. <laughs> I mean, we stepped out of that taxi, and, and that sign goes flying across that entrance to that thing. And it almost knocked, put, knocked us off our feet. And we just looked at each other and said, well, there's the wind. <laughs> and it's just really nice of the Lord to, to bring a confirmation like that. To say, I just, just want to show you. You're hearing me and you're doing what I told you to do. Now, you know, you can do this. And I'm going to do what I said I would do.